All right, it's Qcraft. So basically, you get this ore. It's called quantum ore. Um, and yeah, you put it down. This is in the bottom 16 layers of the world. You get this stuff called quantum dust. So just grab a stack of that. There it is. All right, so get a clipboard out. There it is. And there's basically three different things you can make from it. Um, so the first thing you can make is this. It's known as the essence of observation. It's to make the most basic quantum block. Second thing you can create is this. It's called the essence of superposition. It's the sort of um, it makes a quantum block. And then finally, you've got the uh, this one, which is um, the essence of entanglement. And that's like a doubling sort of thing, as you can see. So, you know, to parallelize to, you know, different big block particles or whatever. So, yeah. So, the next thing you can do is, um, is once you've got one of these essences of observations, basically, the top face in the middle and the bottom face, basically up, up down, left and right, correspond to uh, north, um, west, east and south. Let's try them. So they're going to be um, north and south. Of course, this is on the XZ plane here. Um, and we'll do something like that. And up and down, it's going to be, I'm going to leave that blank. So we take this block. Oh, there it is. All right, so we look at what direction we're facing. You can see we're facing north here. So there we go. Once you see, once we're from the north and the south, once we look away, it doesn't always disappear. You'd think it might disappear like here or something, but it doesn't. You have to look away for quite a bit and still go a fair amount of distance from it as well. So you see it's not even disappearing now. But basically it's all about um, being observed in a similar way to, you know, when you do like the, whatever double slit slit experiment saying until you observe it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't resolve or so yeah you can see when I'm on different sides of it it resolves to a different shape and all the um everything is the same so basically this is now a block of glowstone it does not like it's not like that it's, it's, it's a block anymore it actually does change into a different block so yeah so that is the observer dependent block right next one is the quantum block so the quantum block um, what you do is um, you get the uh, essence of where I put it essence of superposition uh, let's grab one get the essence of superposition um, and you do a similar sort of thing so yeah let's put one down here um this time I'm going to put down here. I'm going to put down a glowstone. So I'm going to make everything redstone, apart from there we go, glowstone and sponge. Is that going to work? No, no, it's not. You have to be quite careful. I don't think there's that many blocks you can put down. A lot of the mod blocks are not going to work. Glowstone, and glass. That should be all right. All right. So I'm going to put that one down here. Um. Yeah, so where are we again? Facing east this time. All right, so if I put this one down, you can see you're going to get the redstone on either side. But basically, there's a there's a chance that when we're on this side, there's going to have one of those two that I put for east and west. So east and west basically goes into a very small array, and it chooses one of each time. So there's glowstone, there's glass, glowstone, glass, and it's not it doesn't just alternate glowstone. <laughs> it does alternate quite a lot though. Most of the time it does need to alternate. There's going to be one way it doesn't actually alternate. And it glass again, maybe. And you can see the transparency is retained and stuff like that. Right, if I get the quantum goggles out, you can put those on. And then the one over here. I'm going to delete it. I'm 
yeah basically you can actually and if I and if you if it's a blank face you should be able to just go directly through it so if I take them off now there we go it's completely disappeared now all right so there's that um yeah uh essence of entanglement if you get one of these blocks I wonder if you can do it in this I mean, you might be able to no you can't you need a crafting grid for it um, but yeah, the essence of entanglement, um, take one of these blocks and it, it basically just creates two of them. Um, not a great deal of use for it in creative mode. And yeah, and there's also like, um, kind of teleportation structure as well, where you can swap around, basically, basically you can swap and move blocks in a similar way to sort of architect table and builder. But it's, it's, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm not really sure I'm going to show that. Basically what you do is you get these sort of gold blocks um, and you only put one face of them as gold. So if I viewed this from any other face, any other five faces, so basically you can do like one to five faces. But if I viewed it from any of the five faces, this is how you basically, um, you get it. Um, so there's all, they're all gold and you make the other one gold as well. Then what you do is you get the obsidian you put it on top um, to a certain amount, however high you want it to be. Um, you do that in all four faces, making sure these are all gold. Then at the intersection of the bottom of all these things, you put down the quantum computer. And the quantum computer is... Um, um, is... Uh, that. Basically... Um, yeah, you get like these, like seven here, uh, glass pane, and which one is it? There we go, quantum dust. That's makes a quantum computer. And you need cooling for it in the form of ice. So basically you do that. So you would put down, you know, when there's the, when there's the intersection between the four of these. Um, what do I do with the other one? I must have deleted it. Yeah, maybe it's that one, I can't remember now. But yeah, you would basically put down the intersection and you'd have to make sure that, this is why it's, it's yeah, that's, not, that's not it. I can always just put that down here, she. Fuck's sake. Yeah, so basically it would be at the intersection, so you could say you could have it like there, there. Yeah, it says frame incomplete, and the reason for that is because what you do is you put down the. Uh, one of these actually work like this. Put down the obsidian as high as you want it. Let's make it lower. Then on top of it, you have to put a glass block as well. And then, yeah, you could use there's different options. There's like quantize, um, which takes movement and teleport, which is swap. So you can actually create two of these things and you can swap down the contents of whatever is in here. Um, that's sort of the unique sort of feature of it. Um, quantize is just like make using an architect table than using the builder. And I press energize here. Insufficient cooling. Oh, yeah. Not much happens then. Oh, yeah, I got rid of those. But yeah, this is basically how you've got to have it set up. And yeah. So yeah, that's about it for now, I think. So thanks for watching.